Uh, I need to modify something. Amp? No. Guitar? No, no, it takes too long. My son, I want you to turn this into the greatest volume pedal in the world. But you know I can't work under such pressure. I have spoken. This looks terrible. I ruined it! Alright, the clear coat is now cured. So what I'll do next is to do some in-between sanding and then spray on some more clear coats and then polish. But for this one, the surface turned out really rough. It's like sandpaper. Probably best thing to do is to do in between sanding to get it smoother. But I don't know how that will work with the flakes of the glitter in it. So I will just at first test sand it just in this area where the petal will go on top. So if I mess up, you won't really see it at the end. And then probably proceed to, to sand everything. Yeah, I'm just completely surprised. The clear coat with the glitter in it used to be so rough and uneven. I never thought I could get it to be a glossy finish. But after hours of sanding, yeah, in the video it looks really quick, but in reality it was hours of sanding. I got it to be an even surface, then polished it with the new machine, and now it looks like some sparkling marble stone. This also means I can do glossy finishes now. So it's a first for me. Also the flame maple. Uh, came out really great. There's some waviness to it, but it's it's good. Uh, so I would rate this a four out of five on the being happy with something scale. All right, so let's plug it in. <gasps>
Looks like I've made a bonus mod for this video. The bonus mod will be at the end of the video. Let's first check out the volume pedal. Example number one are some clean chord volume swells with some shimmer reverb on it. Example number two is the violin, which is the same thing, just with overdrive and we change the reverb to the echo mode. And now the secret function. When I switch the volume pedal off on the pedal switcher, there's an extra cable connecting it to the speed knob of the Univibe. So now I can control the rate of the Univibe with the volume pedal. So this is my old DIY FX loop pedal that I've built about 10 years ago and now it was time to give it a new look. The technique that I'm using is called acrylic pour. It's where you put various acrylic colors into a cup then pour it over your art piece. At first it was looking good but once it was dry it looked horrible so I scraped it all off again and made <laughs> It made this psychedelic looking landscape by applying the paint as shown here and then it looked acceptable. In general this pedal can be used to keep pedals completely out of your signal chain to avoid coloration. Also the thin yellow color formed these intricate patterns over the green. So that concludes the video. I hope you had fun. Also to let you in on a secret, maybe the flame maple I put onto this pedal was just for practice to put flame maple onto something else. But I'm not gonna say what that might be, just, you know, stay tuned for future episodes. <laughs>